Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here on one happy island, Aruba. And today what we have for you are 10 fun culture shocks you might have when you do come here to Aruba. Because I know a ton of tourists come here from all over the world to enjoy this island and these fantastic beaches. But there's some fun little things that might shock you when you are here. So let's get started. And I think one of the things that really shocked me when I got here was just how dang good the food is here. Yes, you're going to have spectacular seafood. Because you see the sea? That's where the food comes from. Whether you're having red snapper or grouper or the rock lobster, things like that, you're going to eat really, really well when you're here. But the thing is, it's not just seafood you eat well. If you're tired of seafood after a week of seafood, you have great steaks when you're here. you got good Italian places. You have all kinds of stuff that's here. And what's shocking about it is the quality level of service and just everything in the food and dining industry here because the people are very highly trained in the food and beverage industry. So it's really kind of cool that you're getting such good service, such great food, no matter where you're going to go. And that's one thing that's great about it. The second thing that's going to shock when you hear is when you get that food is, oh my gosh, the sticker shock of that food. Now, the resorts and the hotels, yeah, they're, they're okay priced. I'm not too upset by those, but my goodness, when you go out to eat, oh, we have our special, $38. Oh, you want to get the special of the house, $57. Oh, you want lobster in this, $70. I mean, prices for food here are like crazy, shockingly high. So do be prepared for that when you come here, when you go to the restaurants. Now, if you go to some of these supermarkets that are all over the island, which you will stop by, you will find that the prices here are just a little bit higher than the US or in Europe. So it's not that big of a difference at the supermarket, but the restaurants are where you're really going to get the sticker shock. And also probably when you sign up for the activities, you might be like, whoa, that seems a little high. You know, don't forget you can negotiate sometimes with some of these things. Now, that's for like the activities, not necessarily for the supermarket stuff, sorry. But supermarkets, you can just save a lot of cash eating there. So what I recommend, if you're staying at a property that gives you free breakfast, eat that big breakfast, okay? And then have one other meal later in the day to save money. Or you might look at the shock number three, how many fast food places there are here in Aruba. You'll be going around and you'll see Taco Bell and another Taco Bell and a KFC and a Burger King and a McDonald's and a Subway and another Subway. There's all these chain restaurants all over the island. And the thing is, you'll be surprised how many people actually go eat at them. I know it's sacrilegious to say this, but you might want to think about maybe visiting a fast food spot. Okay, maybe you just have to go to a kiosk and have a pastecci, the fried pastry with cheese inside, to for one of your smaller meals. Because man, I mean, we're shelling out 200 bucks a meal when we're going out to eat and we're not drinking anything really, okay? So it's like, my goodness, it does add up. And also you got a tip when you're here, by the way, about 15%, but do look and see, because sometimes they put that service charge on the bill already, so then you're okay. But my goodness, the sticker shock you'll get on that food, ooh, it is kind of surprising, okay? Now, let's focus on something better, like these beautiful beaches for our next shock. My next shock for you is just in general, the differences between the beaches here on the west coast versus the east coast of Aruba. Now, here on the west coast, look at these beaches. Look at this, this is just gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's so pretty, oh, it's so pretty. I, luckily, the sun's getting covered up by a cloud, so you can see back there better and not my face. But honestly, when you go to the beaches here on the west side, they're calm. The only craziness you have are people on jet skis and doing other things that might pop up. But honestly, going to Eagle Beach or going to Palm Beach and stuff like that, going up to the California Lighthouse and those beaches along there, they're very calm, they're very relaxed, and it's wonderful. But when you go to the east side, that's where you have that wild, like crazy, powerful waves coming in and things like that. If you're not a strong swimmer and stuff like that, I do recommend you stay on the west coast beaches and just go visit the east coast beaches because when you go there, there's some really beautiful things to see. And that's why I'm going to start talking about our next shock. And they're all in two words. One is the natural bridge you can go see when you're over on the east side of the island. You can go on there, walk on there. Hopefully it doesn't break on you when you're there. Also, when you're going through there, you're going to see all these natural beauty. You'll see all the cactus like forests that are there, the national park on that side. There's a lot of really great stuff over on the east side. That's more of an outdoor rugged kind of thing. And you're going to want to make sure you rent a vehicle or, you know, have a tour or something like that to go over there. Because the next shock I have for you is it's really easy to get around Aruba. I mean, honestly, you can rent a car and go everywhere, okay? The traffic isn't bad at all. It's like relaxing, fun, easy to deal with. The people are relatively nice. The only thing you have to worry about is other tourists that are driving around. But honestly, I mean, 
from here in Palm Beach going up to the California Lighthouse is 15 minutes. From us to go down to Baby Beach was like 40 minutes from here. Getting to Rheinstadt, the capital is like 15 minutes. I mean, it's really close. It's really easy to get around. I mean, if you don't want to drive, they have buses that will take you places here. There's tons of tours here. You can rent bikes, you can rent gators, you can rent scooters. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to get around and it's super easy to get around. That's why you're so shy. It's like, wow, this is pretty simple to get around all on my own. Yeah, you don't need to do the expensive tours because you can do it on your own for a fraction of the price. And honestly, that's when we save money is we didn't do the family tours, which would have cost us a lot more. We rented our own car and drove around for like half the price it was for us to do a day tour. Now the thing is I got a little bit ahead of myself because there's some other of these shocks of the two word shocks I got to talk about. One is Donkey Sanctuary. Yes, they actually have a donkey sanctuary you can go to when you're driving around. You can actually go there, feed the donkey, see them in their sanctuary. I mean, it's a quick little thing. You leave a donation. It's fun to feed the donkeys and move on. But another thing is if you're going to the national park, you can actually hike and go see, two words, cave paintings. Look, Aruba's been inhabited for like 4,000 years. So there is some history here you can go and see. So definitely check that out when you're here. Now, for some more recent history, I guess, the next shock I have for you is how much New England Patriots and New York Giants gear you see all over the place. I mean, a lot of the tourists from the US that actually do come here to Aruba are from the Northeast of the US. So you will see Patriot stuff everywhere, Red Sox stuff, Yankee stuff, Giant stuff all over. You'll see the flags flying. You'll see them selling t-shirts that'll talk about Tom Brady and one happy island together. I mean, they love it here, it seems like, and I can understand why, but you'll be shocked. Like how much Giants gear and how much Pats gear you actually do see when you're here. So if you're wondering if you can catch the football game, you'll be able to catch the Pats game or the Giants game. No problem whatsoever. Now, the next thing I want to talk about in terms of what shocks people when they come here is how safe Aruba really is. I mean, Aruba is super safe. Like you can go out and enjoy the neighborhoods. You can go out and explore the island by yourself. No big deal. You're not going to feel too worried out there. So that is a really nice thing. And they'll tell you, hey, this is a super safe island. It's not just one happy island. It's one safe island. So that's a really nice thing. So if you're looking to come here and you're worried about that, I would not worry too much. I mean, yes, there are some parts you might not want to go to, but in general, it is going to be okay for tourists. Okay. Now, my next shock for you is we need to get back to these beaches. And one of the shocks that got me is that baby beach. Now, if you go to the very south, okay, by St. Nicholas, San Nicholas, and you go there, actually, St. Nicholas is kind of cool because they have all these murals on the walls and all of the buildings that they've been painted. It's really kind of cool. But when you go to Baby Beach, which a lot of people will recommend to you, really nice beach, okay? You go there, there's some like little coral reefs. So you got, you know, you could go snorkeling a little bit there. Just, I mean, it's not very deep. You can go and look at it and see the fish. It's really, really cool. But the shocking thing about it is you pop up from the water and you're looking out on the beautiful sea and then you turn around and there's an oil refinery right there. You're like, oh, beautiful beach oil refinery. Huh, that's kind of shocking. So that is kind of a funny thing, but it is a really nice beach. Okay, so you have that. And when you're coming back through and you're driving through, I think another thing's kind of important, another shock you need to know about is if you're here and you're here for a while and you're not on one of the cruise ships is, the shock is how packed Oranjestad, the capital gets when there's a couple of those big cruise ships in town. I mean, it does get really, really, really full and really, really, really busy. So maybe if you're trying to think about what day you want to go visit the capital and go see the, like, the archaeological museum or something like that, maybe check and see, oh, there's only one big you know, ship in today. I can handle that because when it gets two, it gets a little nuts. But I will say there is one benefit for having all those cruise ship passengers coming in. And that is the pastecci, the, the fried cheese pastry. A lot of the places around town actually serve it more during that time, the kiosk sell it at that time, because they know a lot more tourists are coming through that want to try it. So that is one of those helpful things about it. Also, I guess another thing that would be helpful with it is how many shops you do see out here. Though a lot of it's for jewelry, which is kind of shocking in itself. Like, how much jewelry can one person buy? I don't know, but here in Aruba, you'll see tons and tons of jewelry stores. And my last don't for you as the sun, sun rises in the east is about when the sun sets in the west. And that is just how gorgeous the sunsets are when you're on Eagle Beach or you're here at Palm Beach or anywhere on the west coast here in Aruba. I mean, it is just drop your jaw, gorgeous sunsets. And what's cool is a lot of places, actually you just eat outside most of the time, but there's tons of restaurants and bars and stuff like that right on the beach. So you can go and just sit down, 
watch the sunset while you have a Balashi beer or you have some rum drinks and stuff like that. I mean, it is truly gorgeous. And I'm sure I'm showing you a few of them right now because every day we made sure we came out here and just watched the sunset because it was really that gorgeous, okay? Even my kids are like, Dad, that's a really beautiful sunset. I'm like, yes, guys, it really is. I mean, it's gotta be pretty beautiful for kids to notice, right? So that is really cool. So I hope this helps you know a little bit of the fun culture shocks you might have when you come here to Aruba. If you wanna learn more, maybe some more serious things, we actually have a don'ts of visit Aruba. They go into more of the new, what to know before you go kind of stuff. With that, I will enjoy this trade wind breeze and this beautiful sunrise and this beautiful beach today. So you have a great time and bye from Aruba. Oh, also thank you all our patrons on Patreon and all of our members on YouTube who joined up. Thank you for helping us keep making these fun, honest travel videos. Bye from Aruba.